Hey you guys, this is here with Slip again and today I wanted to do a video on things that I did to help me transform my own ways of thinking. I have my notebook here. So, the first thing I did to transform my thinking was I started journaling. Whenever you journal, um, it has a lot of benefits. It not only lets you express your feelings and not only lets you record and keep track of how you feel, but it also gives you a way to vent without having to vent to anybody else. But the most important thing with journaling, what it allowed me to do was it allowed me to keep record of how I was feeling. I can look, go back to 2003. 15 2016 and see how I was feeling on a certain day and I can compare my progress to where I am today So another thing that I did to help my thinking was I began to say affirmations Affirmations are great whenever you first start saying affirmations and you're looking in the mirror You know they start to feel like a bunch of crap or a bunch of bull crap or BS or whatever you want to call it But once you start to really really say them and you really start to believe them They also give you some type of fight back so whenever you're having issues or whenever you're feeling like I'm not enough or I'm not pretty enough or I'm not good enough, if you learn affirmations, whenever you have thoughts like that, they give you fight back. So as soon as you start to feel like I'm not good enough or I'm not feeling good today, you have an affirmation already in the forefront of your mind that I am good enough, I am pretty enough, I do deserve love or whatever it is that you're feeling negative about that day. So another thing that I did to change my thinking was I began to read the Bible. Even if you don't feel like what you're reading in the Bible is true, every character in the Bible has a little bit of yourself, whether they're a thief, whether they're a liar, whether they're trying to overcome, you know, something going on in their life. Every character in the Bible has their own story and each one of those stories can also help you um, learn different things but also in the Bible it says as a man thinketh so is he so that right there lets you know that it all starts with your thinking when I first began reading the Bible my thinking was horrible it was terrible so once I began to read it and I began to practice and implement the things that I was learning in the Bible from these characters it, I began to see my life change and it also helped me build faith because it allowed me to see that if God can do it for these people way back before Christ then he can also do it for me and once I began to have faith I started seeing things in my life transform so something else that I did to change my way of thinking was I began to listen to music I began to listen to better music music plays a major part in how you feel if you're always listening to sad somber music you're gonna always feel sad and somber if you look constantly listening to music that makes you think about your ex or you know about someone that you're grieving or mourning over you're gonna continuously feel that way so what I did was I changed my music I started listening to music that was more upbeat music that I really felt like changed my spirits and made me feel better about my day something else that I did to change my thinking was I began to take other people's wisdom instead of always going on my own knowledge or thinking that I know everything I began to you know watch vlogs on YouTube for people who were giving wisdom about how to transform your thinking or how to overcome low self-esteem um, and I also listened to other people who had been where I am before because if they made it out of it then they obviously know what they're talking about so I began to listen to you know take other people's wisdom and implement that in my life um, and after that I also I began to find my purpose once I found my purpose it stopped me from comparing myself to other people because I realized that I am here on earth for a set reason and I don't have to compare myself to anyone else because I have my own unique purpose God put his my own unique talents and traits in me to overcome what I'm having to overcome and to live out my purpose which is speaking to you guys um, after finding my purpose I then began to set goals setting goals is a great way to build confidence even if it's small goals like I'll keep my room clean or you know I'll read two or three times a week or I'll exercise two or three times a week just accomplishing goals and keeping promises to yourself sets the bar for your self-esteem and once you start to keep promises for your to yourself you'll also notice that you you keep promises to other people you become a person of your word which also builds confidence and self-esteem um, after setting goals I began to implement an exercise plan in my life exercising is so euphoric it might burn whenever you're holding a certain position or lifting a certain amount of weights or you know whenever you're running you might start to get tired but after you're done with a great workout it's euphoric and it also helps with your thinking it's so mind clearing um, that would that would probably be actually probably need to be the number one thing I tell someone to do that wants to transform their thinking is just to begin a small workout 
workout routine, it, it, it does wonders. Um, what I also did was I started learning how to spend alone time with myself. I stopped worrying about what everyone else was doing and whether or not I'm missing something, not hanging out with everybody or missing a party or whatever it is. And I began to spend time with myself and enjoy spending time with myself. And what I learned is when I'm alone, it gives me time to recharge. It gives me time to think without everyone else's input. And it gives me time to hear my own thoughts, even though sometimes that's not good, but it just gives me my own pride privacy and it allows me to hear my own thoughts and it really gives me time to recharge. So alone time is something that I would suggest to anyone who wants to learn how to transform their thinking. But alone time, it also shows you that you don't have to be dependent on other people. You know, I was always using people um, as a crutch, you know, always wanting to talk to somebody, always wanting to be around somebody so I wouldn't have to feel my own emotions. But once I began to spend alone time with myself, I realized I don't need anyone else I'm okay by myself um, something else I began that helped me transform my thinking was I started practicing better self-care um, I know whenever you're depressed or you're sad you don't really care about getting your hair cut you don't really care about getting your nails done you don't even care about taking a shower sometimes but once you start implementing self-care and you look in the mirror and you feel good about yourself and you just take care of yourself you start to feel better and it also attracts more people to you whenever they notice okay this person takes care of themselves because people are only going to take care of you as good as you take care of yourself so if you're not implementing self-care you can't expect anyone to take care of you <laughs> So something else that I did was I started accepting myself for myself. How I wear my hair, I wear my hair how I like to wear my hair, I dress how I like to dress, I drive the kind of car that I'm happy with. You know, I just learned to accept myself for who I am, where I am right now. And it helped me learn that I don't have to be like anyone else. I don't have to be with anyone else wants me to be. I'm totally fine with who I am and who God wanted me to be. Now, don't get me wrong. That's not saying that doesn't leave you any room for growth because we all want to grow. If you're not growing, you're dead. Um, but once I learned to accept me for me, it, may, I, it helped me realize that I can't be anybody else but myself. And once I learned to accept that, I was a whole lot happier. Um, Something else I did was I began to practice gratitude. Once I learned to practice gratitude, it was like, what am I sad for? I really had no reason to be sad or upset about anything. Cause when you're grateful for the small things like breath or the fact that you even have a car to drive or you have two legs to walk on when you're grateful for the small things everything else just doesn't matter you know everything else that you're upset about or you know the sour things that are going wrong in life you just realize you know it's only for a moment and you become grateful for what you have and it kind of eliminates all the problems they're still there but you just think about them differently so, and the last thing I did, or the last thing I would suggest to anyone that would like to change their way of thinking, is to start practicing the law of attraction. Because once you, once I realized that the law of attraction was real, and that my reality was really being caused by my own thoughts and by the way I felt on the inside, I started, you know, I had, it gave me no choice but to want to try to think positive. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some situations where I'm still like, you know, it's kind of like, turning the knife you know trying to think positive it seems almost impossible trying to think positive but I still give it a whirl and just thinking positive in itself just transforms the way you think about life so once you start practicing the law of attraction and realizing that your thoughts really do manifest into your reality you have no choice but to change how you're thinking so my name is Lanice and I'm here with Slip, speaking life into people and I just wanted to give you guys some things that I did that you can implement into your life to help change your thinking.